Hello everybody, my name is Swicey and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the champion chase and how I'm going to be finishing it. I don't have that many shards, I do have a few, but to get rid of the RNG, to make it a lot easier, I went ahead and did a few things for myself. So let's go ahead and check the champion chase because I haven't been on today and it's about reset. Ooh, that's bad. That's 700 more points than usual. They really screwed people over. Thank goodness I did all of this preparation. So, first thing we have to do is we have four, well, we have two of these epics to go ahead and do. So, let's grab these two epics, which saves us two sacred shards right, the, right here. You have to make sure you have silver for this. But there's one. And then two. Let's go ahead and get him. Oh my god, what is going on? Alright. So, there is two epics, that is 500 points, equal to one legendary already. And after that, I went ahead, well I have that, but I also went ahead and made the stuff for the Broadmoor Fusion. This is another, I believe, 350 points. I could be wrong about that, but regardless, 250, 350, whatever it is, it's a good amount of points. 350, yep. And then we have the Urost Fusion. Another 650 points. Which is huge. And just based off of that, without pulling a single shard, let's see where we are. I believe that'll put us around like 1.5k. Oh, exactly 1.5k. Okay, awesome. So now we need to get a lot more points, which is really bad. Uh, they didn't... They were not nice about this fusion at all like this is honestly one of the worst moves they've ever made when it comes to this stuff so we have the room let's go ahead and hit it if we can get epics that is what we really want epics are huge for points please do not okay there we go there's one epic that's big two epics even more big that's awesome five singles we might buy some more shards depending on how lucky we get I mean, there's a chance we don't get lucky at all, and it doesn't even matter if we go ahead and get the extra shards, but for me right now, it would definitely be worth a try, so I don't have to worry about buying anything or anything else. I mean, there's a few days, so it's not like it's impossible, but getting it done as soon as possible would be nice. So with that, I believe we're actually almost on track to get another one so i'm just gonna go ahead and spend 540 gems which i know that leaves me with no gems but if we get an epic it is worth it one shard no epic come on game this is 21 shards in total i have to keep track 21 of these shards, which brings me up to 68 on my pity. Oh, are we going to get no epics? Ah, this could have been a waste. No game. Ah, oh, come on. One epic. And if I don't, then Clan Boss will probably give me an epic tomorrow. Nah, not worth it. Dang, it happens. Alright, now... Ooh. Fingers crossed. Come on. One legendary would be huge, but we did get a lot of legendaries last video, so I'm not expecting one. Just saying it would be huge. Oh! Oh! Another Valkyrie! Yes! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, yes! Oh! Guys, that is so big. Now I can have one for uh, for Arena and one for my Fire Knight hard build. And then I have one for Arena now too. That is amazing. 
out of all the dupes I could have gotten, that's it. Now this this pool is amazing already. I'm done. I like nothing more to ask for. Another legendary would be tremendous, but not expecting anything. Yeah, nothing. Anax. All right, let's see. Let's see where we are. Is that that huge pool right there, and that goddess there? So, we're done with the fusion now. Besides, I have to go ahead and spend some time leveling everything. Uh, <laughs> I have have a few legendaries I need to go ahead and max. Another Valk. That's just awesome. Max these two up to 50. And yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. I, I got Urost and Valkyrie today. And then I'll go ahead and get uh, I'll go ahead and get the fusion done probably tomorrow if I can't get it done tonight. But Eros and Valkyrie is huge. Let's go ahead and go to the faction guardians. Hey, that gives me gives me some attack. I wanted the defense, but we're right there next to the accuracy and resistance, which is awesome. Uh, I believe next time I get a dupe, I'm really gonna hope it's a demon spawn. Doesn't matter what it is. I just want those stat boosts. But, yeah, I mean, oh, and that was my first at bat. Anyways, guys, I believe, believe that's that. I mean, not too much to go into, just kind of the idea of what I did for preparation, maybe what you can do for the next fusion. When you pull some voids, keep these voids. It'll really help you out. That 350 points did a lot of work. Also, keep in mind, you can go ahead and do this fusion. It's all farmable so you can just keep fusing relic keeper it is it does take a lot of resources but if that is your way to getting the fusion done then i would i would not recommend not doing it uh, also mystery shards you can get one to ten points per so definitely definitely don't skip out on these things if you're not sure of how you're going to be doing on the fusion uh, champion training coming up, which means, honestly, tomorrow would probably be the time for me to level everybody, but I have a lot of people to level. Besides that, guys, yeah, uh, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 700. Uh, 700 is pretty huge, and our total goal overall is 1,000. Uh, 1,000 would help me get into the Playroom play, well, the Playroom content creator program, as well as partnered with YouTube, which I'm already in the process of doing when it comes to the YouTube side of things. But yeah, thank you guys so much again. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.